All right, so this video is just going to be on ways that you can maybe track and identify prospects around the league which out, without feeling like you had to go through each team's farm system when you're trying to make trades with them. So this here is the normal player development screen that has been in out of the park forever. Um, you know, I think uh, my first version was about 10 years ago, and I'm pretty sure that this whole menu existed then. And so on these drop downs, I do prospects only. I don't care about the entire organization from this screen for this screen. I want to know about my prospects. I know well enough from other screens what my major league depth is. Um, I also think prospect league prospect ranking is the most, I guess, all encompassing view of a player here, just because the potential and current ratings can just be uh, a little off more so than the prospect ranking for the actual outlook of the player. And so this here is your minor league depth, your prospect depth ranked by their prospect ranking um, for each position in your minor league system. It tells you your uh, ranking for your minor league farm system. And I think in 21, these get updated by on the default setting three times per year. I think on opening day, maybe around the all-star break, and then at the end of the year. I could be wrong about that, but they get updated, uh, I believe, three times. And then here you just have a bunch of your top prospects. I think it's your top 20 here. It tells you the ones that are ranked in the top 200. It gives you some quick hit stats. That for the hitters, the triple slash line can be kind of effective for a quick look at how a guy's doing. Win, loss, ERA, uh, not really going to be all that effective for telling you how your pitchers are doing. But this little menu here can kind of give you your top guys if you want to track them. You know, if you're if you're not managing your whole minor league system, but you're managing some guys, it's probably, you know, the guys on this list, the top 20 or so prospects. So this screen is handy. This screen has been in out of the park forever. Um, but what they added this year, I believe it was this year, sometimes the versions run together, um, is the prospect Pipeline. Like I said, I'm like 99% sure this was the first year it was in here. So why is the prospect pipeline handy? For a few reasons. Uh, here you can get the top 20, top 50, 100, 200 prospects in baseball. And so looking at that here, we've got it, and we've got it set by the official BNN prospect ranking. Now, what is BNN? It's the Baseball News Network. A way to think about this is uh, if, if you follow prospects in the major leagues, then you're probably familiar with the um, MLB.com prospect pipeline. And so, you know, when it, when prospects are traded, you'll see, oh, they traded the fourth and ninth ranked prospect in their farm system. That's almost always taken from MLB.com's prospect pipeline. So the, the BNN prospect pipeline here is set to mimic uh, one of the more popular rank prospect rankings around the MLB.com prospect pipeline, which I think are really handy and accurate in real life. Maybe fan graphs is pretty handy too. But anyway, so this is meant to mimic that. So it's pretty cool to have something um, that is so similar to how the real life prospect rankings work. And so a few things about this, you can kind of track the top 100, but then also you can look at other teams, right? Say you're looking to make a deal with the Reds and you kind of want to get a feel for their farm system. Well, you can look at it here and, and, and you can see the guys that are rated in the top 500 and then the rest of the dudes, right? Um, so, you know, so you're in a deal with, okay, so they're offering me Jose Garcia as part of this deal, right? And he's their fifth best prospect. He's number 159 in baseball. And say you're the Cubs, right? And the 159th prospect in baseball will rank sixth in my system. All right, so you're getting your sixth best prospect in that deal. So I, I use that as a way to to look at teams um, when I'm when I'm looking at trades with them I use this as a way to say you know how good does this trade actually look for me okay they're the fourth best prospect in this team's farm system but what if that team's farm system sucks the fourth best in their system might be the 13th best in mine right so I use this list as a way to kind of check on those things uh, as I'm going through and working on trades with uh, with various teams, especially um, when I play as the Orioles. So I was doing this a lot early on as I was rebuilding and trying to get younger prospects. And so I was I was looking at that menu a lot. Another thing that's pretty handy is you can look by position here, right? So say, you know, sometimes I look through my farm system, I realize like, man, I don't have any prospect depth that say whatever, second base, right? I should probably look at bringing in some second baseman that are in the minor leagues. And you know, these guys up here are gonna cost you a ton, right? Top 100 prospects. So you can kind of go down and find guys that are just kind of minor league depth guys who you never know, might turn into something, right? Like, you know, here's a guy in rookie ball, he'll probably be pretty expensive to get, 
because he's so young and he's a decent prospect. But here, you know, you can identify prospects this way. The Twins have this guy, Will Holland, right? And he is the 456th best prospect in baseball. And say you are lacking second baseman in your low minors, you always go here and you, you know, go trade. And I wouldn't necessarily do it this way. You can say, make this work now. Are you going to want anything reasonable? Cool. There's one guy that they're willing to take for some reason. Um, they want Braylon Marquez, who's the 79th best prospect in baseball, which is obviously nutty. That you know, that would never happen. So that's that's another way that the prospect pipeline is is helpful. Uh, you know, you can also do it by outfielders, and, and it'll give you you know a ton. Everybody in the top, I can't remember how far it goes down, but here's the top 537 prospects, j- just outfielders, right? starting pitchers or or you can't do it by starting and relief pitchers but you can do it by pitchers and get guys in the top 237 oh and i should have said this this is the top 100 so then here's the top 200 pitching prospects right so if you're looking for guys really far down you can always switch this or if you just want to say you know hey i want a great pitching prospect you can do it by this anyways so you, as you can see i won't go <laughs> fill around with that too much more but you can Go by position, you can go by organization, you can go by the amount of prospects that you want to see. One thing that I think definitely you want to do is keep this on the official BNN ranking. If you go by your head scout potential overall, let's see, I haven't tested it out for this scout actually, let's see. Uh, this actually isn't that crazy. So his ratings didn't change too much. But as you go through this, and you know, this is just a sim that I mess around with sometimes for, for tutorials, but uh, my scout over time, if I do head scout potential overall, I'll get a bunch of relievers up here because relievers are a lot more likely, especially prospects to have a 70 or 80, uh, potential rating just cause relievers are easier to come by. So that's not, uh, you know, that's not as a, a reliever who's an 80 potential is not as valuable as say like a shortstop who's a 60 potential. So that's why, you know, I wish this head scout potential overall worked better, worked kind of like my scouts prospect ranking, but it tends to not do that. Here it looks decent. You know, I mean, I haven't really all tested it. I don't know this whole sim all that well, but you know, well, actually this is a reliever, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so this is actually, I didn't realize this. This is a reliever, Emmanuel Clace, and my scout says he's the top prospect in baseball by potential, right? Which is just crazy. Like no, no reliever is going to be the top overall. Let's see where that guy is. Cleveland Indians, is he anywhere even here? So he's number 283 overall, the Indians' 10th best prospect. And he does, he probably, I mean, in my sim, I know him in 2026, and this guy's like an elite reliever, right? But that's kind of the wacky thing that you get when you go to potential overall. You get a bunch of, you get some relief pitchers up here. I think this guy, see, and this is just the Indians prospect here, but we've got another reliever here. As their third best prospect, my scout says he's the 16th um Best prospect by potential overall. So ignore the potential overall. Just go by the prospect ranking. <laughs> just, uh, you know, hopefully they fix that next year to where it's more like your scouts ranking than your scouts like rating because there's a difference between the player rating and um, where they're ranked as prospects. You can also do it by um, contact and stuff, right? If you're looking for specific tools, this might be okay, right? The overall, I don't recommend it. But say you want to... Uh, you know, say, you know, I want to look at outfielders who are power bats, right? So here you're here, you can see this is now ranked by power. And if it was pitchers, it's movement, right? Um, and it's the best power bats uh, for, for outfielders in minor league prospects. So it can be helpful in that way, I think, uh, if you're just looking for a specific tool, right? But if you're just looking for overall prospects, I would I would not uh not not go by this potential overall or you know another way can be helpful just for another example and then I won't go on too much longer here because it might be dragging this out I don't know if this is too long but you want a really good control pitcher or let's say movement because I really like movement pitchers because uh, I play in the Camden Yards where home runs are a million a game so I like pitchers with good movement so I might try to find undervalued prospects who have really good movement right so their potential this you know this guy's only a 35 potential pitcher but he's a 70 potential movement he's a reliever you know like can i get this guy for nothing 
Probably not, because the make this work now button doesn't always give that say. So a bunch of a bunch of guys popped up that they've been willing to um, trade this nobody prospect who I've kind of targeted as a movement guy, so I want him. Anyways, uh, I won't go on, you know, I know I'm kind of getting into tedious details here, but the prospect pipeline is, is good for all those reasons. Use it, love it, enjoy it. Bye.